Hello and welcome to another episode of Continuous Improvement. I'm your host, Victor Leung, and today we're going to demystify two critical components in modern enterprise IT systems, the Enterprise Service Bus, or ESB, and the API Gateway. Both are essential but often misunderstood, so whether you're an IT architect, a decision maker, or just someone fascinated by enterprise technology, this episode is for you. Let's start by diving into what an enterprise service bus, or ESB, really is. Think of an ESB as a high-powered traffic cop for your organization's IT systems. It's a middleware tool that helps disparate applications communicate across different protocols, data formats, or languages. An ESB routes, transforms, and orchestrates communication between services, ensuring that your enterprise applications can work together seamlessly. Hash key features of ESB Integration, it connects different applications within an enterprise. Message routing, it smartly directs messages between services based on your business rules. Data transformation, it converts message formats to make sure everything's compatible. Orchestration, it manages complex interactions and workflows within your system. Now, let's contrast that with an API gateway. While an ESB focuses on internal communications, an API gateway is like the front door to your organization's IT systems for the outside world. It acts as a reverse proxy, routing client requests to the appropriate backend services. It's essential for managing, securing, and analyzing the APIs that connect your services to external clients. Hash key features of API gateway. API management makes it easier to create and maintain APIs. Security, adds layers like authentication and rate limiting to protect your services. Load balancing, distributes incoming requests evenly across your services. Analytics and monitoring, tracks API usage and performance, offering valuable insights. So, what are the main differences between an ESB and an API gateway? Here's a quick rundown. 1. Scope of Usage ESB is primarily used for internal communications within an organization. API Gateway handles external interactions, managing how outside clients access internal services. 2. Functionality ESB is all about deep integration capabilities, handling complex data transformations and orchestrations. API Gateway focuses more on streamlining API management, enhancing security, and providing performance insights. 3. Performance and Scalability Due to its centralized nature, an ESP can become a bottleneck if not carefully managed. API Gateways are designed to be highly scalable, dealing efficiently with a large volume of requests. 4. Use Case Scenarios ESB is ideal for integrating legacy systems and handling diverse protocols. API Gateway shines in modern, microservices-based architectures, where managing numerous APIs is crucial. To wrap up, both ESB and API Gateway are foundational to enterprise IT infrastructure but serve distinctly different purposes. Your choice between them should be guided by your specific organizational needs, the architecture you have in place, and your scalability requirements for the future. Thank you for tuning in to Continuous Improvement. I hope today's episode clarifies the roles of ESB and API Gateway in your IT landscape. I'm Victor Leung, and I'll be back soon with more insights to help you and your team stay ahead in the ever-evolving world of technology. Until next time, Keep learning and keep improving.